Hey, great morning to y'all. I hope y'all woke up grateful this morning. Sorry I'm late coming on. There's something I don't know why my computer won't allow me to go live. So I'm going to do it from my phone. Um, I'm a little low energy this morning. Um, but uh, I'll explain to you why. I just hope that you guys all reminded yourself of the reasons that you're grateful. As you can hear, my voice this morning is not what it should be. So I'm not going to be on here long. I wanted to just make sure that you guys are all motivated to get the most out of your day today. I wanted to remind you all that limitations are a chance to get creative. I wanted to remind you all that obstacles are opportunities for growth. Right? You guys matter. You matter enough in life that you were given another day today. And you're fueled by infinite, unconditional love, no matter what, that loves you. Now, when you're owning your power and you're being true to yourself first, you're rectifying everything and anything that doesn't make you feel good. All right? And that should be your highest priority, no matter what. All right? I want to remind you guys all today what your emotions are. And that's just your energy moving. All right. Anything that you're picking up on that you're feeling and you're absorbing it, well, hey, it's going to get processed in your brain. Now, what's going to process these feelings is all of those belief systems. Where did the belief systems come from? Well, hey, we modeled everybody around us growing up because that's what we thought was the proper way to govern ourselves. Okay. You guys, you're not your belief systems. You're not what everybody has made you to believe that you are. It's as simple as that. Nothing more, nothing less. Okay? You're sourced by an infinite, unconditional love that loves you no matter what. Because if it didn't, you wouldn't be here today. All right? I want you to embrace your greatness today. I can't stress that enough. All right, and when you embrace your greatness, you face everything head on in your life. You don't shy away from anything. No matter what ripples it causes, say, be loving in all that you say and all that you do. And get on with it. Okay, don't hold any kind of negativity. When something doesn't feel good, change it. All right? Simple little changes change everything for you. All right? Put yourself first. Always. No matter what. Okay? And that's where we go wrong. Is we don't put ourselves first. And we suffer because of it. All right? All of those thoughts that you're having that are producing feelings within your body, well... You got to get those under control. How do you do that? Well, every time you have a thought, look at it. Look at it. Take the time to examine it. Okay? You know what? It may seem time consuming to you all and it may not seem, you know, but you got to start with you. Everything starts with you. And if you're not okay, well, then nothing's okay. And you can make excuses for it, and you can blame it, and you can do all the shame games and all the denial and everything else that comes with it and the embarrassment of it all. You can step up and rise up and be aware of what's happening and look at what's triggering you to feel certain ways. Honor your feelings. Calm the thoughts. Okay. Why am I low energy this morning? Because I'm feeling a lack of oxygen today. I had a really bad asthma attack this morning. Really, really bad. That I just couldn't seemingly catch my breath. Okay. So, yeah, that's why I'm low energy today. And that's why I'm feeling, you know, I'm feeling the weight of the density of my body because, hey, there's just not enough air in me to keep going right now. So I got to take a pause. That's what that tells me. 
right? You guys all matter. So it doesn't matter what your day is supposed to be or what it should be. Take care of you today, all right? And I'll be doing the same thing. Today, give yourself a pat on the back for making it this far, all right? Give yourself a pat on the back for everything that you've been through already. Give yourself a pat on the back for just being who you are because you matter. All right? It's simple. Just get it right. Get it right for you. Get it right for your kids. Get it right for everybody that's attached to you. All right? Because it all has to start somewhere. You can't sit back and just hope for change. You got to be the change. Be the change for yourself and be the change for others. Okay? We've been operating on systems that are not healthy for anybody. And when you decide to put yourself first and you honor your feelings and you see what's triggering you and you see what you're living and you sit with that and don't have any opinions or judgments, just look at what you've done. Simple. That's all. And be loving to yourself. That's key. Because we all need to make changes. Every single one of us. None of us are perfect. But our experiences of life are perfect. And we have everything that we need within us. Okay? If you're feeling lonely, well, it's because you're not loving your own self and your own... You know, you don't need to have another to keep you to content. Be okay within yourself first, okay? You got to do that for you. And anything that's making you feel not okay, well, fix it. And stop worrying about what it's attached to and who it's attached to and how, by you rectifying this, how is it going to affect another? Don't worry about that. Worry about how it's affecting you. Simple. Own that stuff. Worry about... And I'm not even talking about worry. Don't worry. Handle it. But see things for what they are. Okay? If something doesn't make you feel okay, it is a sign. It's telling you something. you got to listen to that. Okay? No matter what it is, and no matter who's attached to it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what title or what label we give them, because we only give whatever meaning we give. That's it. Okay? And why do we give these meanings to people? Oh, because we've been conditioned and programmed to believe that's what we have to do. People are people, and people all have free will to govern themselves how they want to. But you need to have the free will to put yourself first no matter what. Okay? Because you matter. So, deal with stuff head on. You have something to say to something? somebody? Say it. Why are you holding it back? Just do it in a loving manner. Okay? You don't hold your tongue for anybody. Because when you do, guess what? It makes you sick. And all of the emotions that you're feeling inside, well, they get trapped in your body. So, anything that doesn't make you feel right, handle that shit. Okay? And handle it in a way that you don't, it doesn't matter who takes what badly. That's not your responsibility. Your responsibility is to yourself. And honoring what you're feeling, okay? That's what your responsibility is. You owe it to you and nobody else. So, let me give you an example of this, okay? Let's say you're in a really shitty situation and this goes across the board for no matter what situation you're living, okay? And you know in your heart there's something about it that just isn't not, it doesn't make you feel good doesn't matter what it is. But then you make excuses for that shit. And you give it energy. 
You give it life. You give it your energy, your time, your patience, your love, your everything. But yet it's still not making you feel right. Deal with that shit head on. Okay? And don't, shouldn't matter who's attached to it. You shouldn't have to be concerned about how the other person's going to take it. Ever. What the problem is, is how it's making you feel. Now, also too, the thoughts that we have about these situations, and we sit there and we brain fuck ourselves, okay, into feeling all kinds of bad things because of what we're telling ourselves, right? And this is what creates your mood, people, eh? Understand that. When you've got all kinds of bad shit going on in your head, well, I'm sorry. That's what you're projecting. The energy of it is just, you know, we all have stuff to go through in our life. But deal with stuff head on. And don't worry about how another is taking it. Worry about what's going on within yourself, primarily. All right? The only thing that you need to worry about is if whatever you're addressing, you're doing it in a loving way. That's all you've got to worry about. It frees you from the shame, the guilt, the denial. It frees you from that brain game that we play with ourselves. Okay? Just deal with things head on. You can get through anything. Anything is possible. Because you are possible. In other words, you've been given another day by a love that loves you unconditionally, which is greater than any love that any human can give you. Okay? Use that to fuel you. Use that to fuel your decisions. Use that to fuel your steering, your maneuvering through life. Trust it. Because it trusts you enough to govern yourself through this experience. So now trust that. You are so much more than you've been ever made to believe. Right? Being fueled by unconditional love and the all-knowing gives us a capacity that we can do absolutely anything that we want. But you've got to pick wisely. Because while you're creating all of those negative thoughts within your own being or not feeling right, well, that is what you're producing in your life. Understand that. It ripples into everything. You have to be okay first. And that's why you have to put yourself first. No matter what. Hey, I lived my whole life never being able to put myself first. I still have a hard time putting myself first. But where is that getting me? All right? That's what I got to think about. So, I want you guys all to set a high vibe. How do you do this? Well, you remind yourself of the things that you're grateful for. Okay? You want to feel genuinely good and you can't figure out how to do it? Go do something nice for somebody, not expecting anything back. That's going to make you feel better. It's going to make you feel worth something. It's going to make you feel needed. It's going to make you feel valid. Okay? Go and do something for somebody. All right? You want another way to set a high vibe? Hey, put on some inspiring music. Put on something motivating. There's tons of inspirational videos out there that I personally listen to on a daily basis. Why? Because I matter. And yeah, we all have things in our life that we have to deal with, but we need a toolbox for life. All right? What's in your toolbox? Put yourself first. All right? There's nothing more important. There really isn't. You know, there's all kinds of ways to raise your vibe. Watch what you're eating. Watch what you're entertaining. 
Watch what you are engaging in, okay? Do it for yourself. Don't do it for anybody else. Because at the end of the day, there's nobody else sitting in your skin. There's nobody else having your experience. There's nobody else that is of your unique signature on this planet. You are meant to be who you are, living whatever you're living. But you're supposed to be creating a wonderful life for yourself. Why? Because we're tapped into this infinite, unconditional love and the power of the all-knowing that gives us all of our answers all the time no matter what. How could we not be greatness? How could we not use that to fuel heaven on earth? Simple. All right? I'm very low energy this morning. That's why I don't want to be on here too long. Like I said before, I had a really bad asthma attack this morning. And I'm feeling it. Have a good day. Right? Get the most out of it. Set a high vibe. Remember why you're grateful, okay? Because you know something? You never know when it's going to be your last day. You matter, okay? Get the most out of life. Peace.